Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly July reading for July 13th to the 19th. Now I'm very sorry for getting these videos out so late and I apologize, you know, two days of the week has already passed so I still hope they're useful to you. And once again, like I told the other signs, I am using a different format and we are going to be looking at your first house, fourth house, seventh house and tenth house and the energies associated with them as well as the interpretations traditionally assigned to these houses. Okay, so um, hmm, a little bit of a troublesome energy, honestly. Okay, so let's look at the cards. Um, I'm going to pull out two more cards to look at the first one before I start talking, mainly because it's the Five of Coins in the upright. I haven't seen it in the upright for you know general readings in a long time, so let's see what it's referring to. That's interesting. Okay, so let's just put it this way. Um, the, the first card here, the Five of Coins, indicates, um, you know, as your first house, it's the face that you project into the world, it's the way that others perceive you. And I do feel that um, for this week, there's a little bit of financial worries coming into the picture. And we have three Pentacles card total. All of them indicates, you know, hanging on very, very tight and securely to your finances, okay? So others see that there might be, um, you're kind of worried about your finances, you're planning for bigger, better things in the future or further down the line. So there's a need for you to ration and if there's a need for you to um, basically um, take a more practical approach to your finances. At the same time, um, the this is like a card of poverty. It's the poverty of um, physical things, but also like of the mind as well, okay? There's something in your environment that you feel makes you very uncomfortable because you don't know the ins and outs of it. And what I mean is, um, you know, for example, you might have been in a new work situation where you don't really understand the, the workflow just yet, so you're kind of like feeling out of the loop. This is also traditionally in the uh, Rider Waite deck. It is a card of feeling cast out. However, in this deck, I don't feel that another person is there with you. You're kind of like going through this alone, and you feel a little like unsettled, okay? So this is um, what's coming in or the way that you're projecting yourself into the world and the way others see you generally for this week. If you don't understand something, you know, ask those questions, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's... Well, in general, people like it if you ask questions, if you are clear about what it is that you don't understand, then people will be more than willing to help you reach that understanding. So don't be afraid. Don't feel, um, don't feel like people are not making the time for you, okay? So I pulled out two cards to see what this is in relations to. And um, what I'm getting is um, a lot of expenditures in the past that might have um, affected affected your current situation at this present moment, okay? So I do feel a lot of planning, a lot of expenditures that took place in the past, and as a result, you don't really have enough in the present moment, or you feel that you don't have enough. But I know that a lot of you Taurus are very, very practical and um, with money in general, and you're very good financial managers, so don't distress over it. At the same time, I have the King of Cups, and which what this indicates to me is uh, there's a little bit of an overindulgent energy that needs to be reined in, okay? And I do feel this happened in the past. You were kind of like um, blowing through a lot of money for some reason, and a lot of you are kind of like reeling with the aftermath, reeling from the aftermath and dealing with the repercussions, and you're going to get a better brain on your finances, which is a good thing to do, actually. So let me put these away. In terms of your fourth house, which deals with um, the family, the home, the mother, and the things that you need to bring you emotional fulfillment, I have the magician in the reverse position. So um, there is a sense here that um, 
the people around you, the people around you might be, okay, so they might not know what they're doing. This is in the home's environment, okay? And it could be the physical structure of the home. There are a lot of like, um, there's a sense that things in your home situation are not going the way that you want. And you might have to, people, family members might call on you to help them financially. So then you feel very depleted, okay? Or they might turn to you emotionally and at the same time, it does drain you financially and emotionally. So there are situations within the home that might be a little bit chaotic. There might be repairs that you have to, to make that you can't do it yourself because the magician is in the reverse position. So you might have to call a specialist. You might have to call somebody um, like a contractor or something like that in order to take care of the situation and it gets expensive okay so repairs in the home there are things going awry there are people that are in the home situation that are kind of um, relying on you a little too much financially and emotionally and they're just you know issues associated with the home that might mean you know financial loss well I wouldn't say financial loss, that might require financial and emotional investment on your end and because of it, it's a little bit problematic. I do feel for those who are dealing with, um, you know, if your mothers are still alive, I do feel that um, health might, you know, diminish and you're kind of called in to take care of some elderly family member and it is depleting you as a result, okay? In terms of your seventh house, we do have um, the six of swords in the reverse position, which indicates to me like um, travel delays with a love partner or a work partner. So if you're traveling for work, if you're traveling for um, leisure, there are going to be delays, which brings about a lot of headache and feeling like you have to dish out more money in order to rectify the situation. So that's one way this could play out. Um, this also indicates to me of like going back to a previous moment in time, possibly returning to other people from your past, and there might be communication. That you, so the only danger that I'm sensing is if you're operating from a place of like low energy, low vibration, or even like kind of low self-esteem, it is really, really important not to return to excess in order to, um, you know, as escapism. So if you were to do that, you might regret it in the future, okay? So don't return to excess when you're feeling like in a, when you feel that you're in a very vulnerable state because that's not going to lead to, you know, anything conducive down the line for long-term stability. In terms of your work situation, um, a lot of you might have left like a very troublesome work environment, like a work partnership environment, and you're possibly being like coaxed back in and um, I can assure you that it's probably not the right thing to do this moment in time because uh, you're you're not feeling at your best right now and you might not make the best decisions okay so the the power of discernment and the power to manifest the, the right things are just um, troublesome right now so please try to hold it off if you can in terms of your 10th house which deals with career finances um, this is generally a very good card. It's the Queen of Coins, and it's somebody who's a very good money manager. However, in this deck, it does show that somebody who's um, emotionally invested in their financial resources. So just be very careful about the way that this comes in. I do feel, in general, Taurus are very, very good financial managers, so I wouldn't worry about it. But if you are kind of like tying in your sense of self-worth with the amount of money you have in the bank, it, you're never going to be satisfied, okay? The sense of self-worth comes from within and it should be like um, separate from all the material things that you have in life, okay? So um, don't stress out over the money situation. And, and I do feel as well, um, a lot of you might be like due for a promotion and you're not being adamant about requesting or demanding that promotion. So that's another way that this could play out. Or you might be trying to cling on to your current job situation that you've been at for years. And it is really, in fact, time to leave. So you're kind of like feeling nudged out and you're holding on to it very tightly because it does bring you a lot of financial and emotional security. But um, when something has, you know, run its course, you... you the energies in the universe will come together and you start to feel it. You start to feel that, you know, the lack of job satisfaction the lack of um, ambition kicking in, feeling very 
um, very like, what is that, indifferent in your job environment, if those are the symptoms that you feel creeping into your work situation, it probably means you're on the wrong track or that situation itself has run its course. So it's important to, you know, seek work elsewhere. I know it's easier said than done, but I do sense that um, you can still have this job while you are applying for other jobs. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. So make sure um, you are completely emotionally fulfilled first in your job situation before you can make things better, okay? Before um, you can be really happy. So um, in general, I do feel there is a little bit of concern on the work front or um, a lot of you might be deferring to work to escape a lot of the issues that you're dealing with other sectors of your life. So just um, take good care of yourself, you know, um, you can play the hermit, just shut yourself in, figure out what you want to do for a few days and then come out in a better uh, mood, in a more refreshed mood and, and thought processes, okay? So let me know how this plays out for you. I'm very sorry for the, um, the grim reading, but I do hope that, you know, you can take some time to at least balance out the checkbook this month. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.